being led to the holy sacrifice of the mass. They are holding from Abraham, or from actually from yeah, from Abraham all the way to the holy sacrifice. And we all know that the holy sacrifice went to the ultimate end of eternal life for all of us. It kind of reminded me that I'm sure all of you would remember Padre Joe Rome when he talked about Plan A and Plan B. The Plan A, of course, was the creation of the universe and ultimately Adam and Eve were placed in the Garden of Eden and everything was in perfect order and harmony. And then, of course, they disobeyed God and they disrupted the harmony in the Garden in Paradise. So they had to leave. And so Plan B was supposed to be the coming of Jesus. But what came to my mind was, it was not like God great, they had plan A and then waited. If something, if plan A doesn't work, then plan B will come into mind. God already knew that that was going to happen. So what you were saying, from the beginning, plan A and plan B were going to be in place. So plan A was the creation, and then plan B comes to mind when God has to send Jesus for us to be redeemed and then for us to show us the way back to paradise. So it all comes in four circles, plan A and plan B. There's a reminder for everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Deacon. Thank you. Absolutely. That, what they call the, uh, in Genesis, right after the fall, the proto-evangelium, where uh, the, the seed will be crushed by the woman. And so right there, no sooner did we fall than Jesus was saying, hey, I'm coming with Jesus and we're going to heal this and you know we can go through all the scientific try to figure it out this is the way it is so you know what and we have the Holy Eucharist so let's live it and love it any 